Would you guess why November 13, 1856 is such an important date? Well, it's the birthday of Louis D. Brandeis, born in Louisville, Kentucky, to European Jewish parents who came to the U.S. from what is now the Czech Republic. But who is Louis D. Brandeis? Well, Brandeis was the first Jewish American to serve on the United States Supreme Court. And let me tell you, on his trip to the court, Brandeis built some impressive credentials. At the age of 18, Brandeis entered the Harvard Law School and graduated at the age of 20 with the highest grade point average in the law school's history. After graduation, Brandeis developed a lucrative law practice that ultimately allowed him to serve various public interest causes, often on a pro bono basis. And over the next several years, he helped to save the Boston subway. He worked to protect the beneficiaries of life insurance policies. He defended industrial laborers and female workers. Brandeis was held in such high esteem that on January 28, 1916, President Woodrow Wilson took the bold step to nominate Louis D. Brandeis, the first Jewish American to serve as an associate justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. But his nomination was not without controversy. Six former presidents of the American Bar Association and even former president of the United States, William Howard Taft, were less than enthusiastic about his nomination, labeling him a radical. And during his confirmation fight, several of his opponents turned to anti-Semitic tropes to try to defeat his nomination. He was simultaneously labeled greedy and yet a socialist. But in the end, Brandeis won his fight in the Senate and took his seat on the U.S. Supreme Court on June 5th, 1916, where he served with distinction until his retirement in 1939. Louis D. Brandeis, a true Jewish American pioneer. Well, that's all for this edition of Would You Guess?